Welcome back racers to world's best overtake September edition. This is a competition that is decided by you, the viewer. Vote for your favorite overtake using the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click it and then click on your favorite overtake. The winner will then be announced over on Twitter and in the channel Discord, links in the description. How do you get your clip into this? You must share your replay with the hashtag WBO on Gran Turismo Sport. And with all that being said, let's get into the September overtakes. Coming in at the Aston spot, nreveal underscore 24 is looking for a two birds with one stone kind of situation as he hunts down two Lamborghinis at the Red Bull ring. After dispatching another Norwegian driver, he sets his sights about making a move into turn three. Looking up the outside, he has the speed, but can he hold it around the outside? Later on the brakes, a little bit of contact, but he manages to keep it stable and with a good exit to the corner, gets a double move done. Let's check it out from another angle then. It all starts on turn one. He manages to get a better exit than the two Lamborghinis in front because they are battling and went through their two by two. Now he really utilizes the straight line speed of that Nissan using the slipstream as well from the Lamborghinis in front. He moves to the left and sets himself up for a double around the outside move around this hairpin corner. He manages to keep it nice and stable and he gets that good run out. Fantastic first entry of the month. The Norwegian then gets the Aston spot. Coming in at the Bentley spot, Jev Rob is taking on a two lap 1v1 challenge in Group B cars at the Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi layout. Coming into the last couple of corners and he's going to opt for that wider line trying to get a better run out of the corner. It's not going to work for him this time but he sets himself up once again for one last attack onto the start finish straight. He gets that better run out of the corner and it is a drag race to the line which he just gets over before the other driver. Absolutely nail biting stuff right down to the line. Let's have a look at it from another view then. The first move didn't quite come off but he resets himself and makes sure that he gets a better run onto the start finish straight which gives him that victory. Coming in at the Chevy spot King Itchy underscore 91 makes a move into one of the toughest corners at Brands Hatch. Giving himself some room between him and the Alpha allows him to attack the corner. The Belgian runs a little bit wide and with the slightest bit of contact sees King Itchy underscore 91 take first place with only two corners left to go. After nearly four laps of chasing down the Alfa Romeo in front, it's good to see that patience is rewarded and he gets that pass up into Sheen's corner. As he goes past him as well, he does give space so that the Alfa Romeo can come back onto the track. If he didn't do that, there would have been tears, but that is the Chevy spot for this month's edition. Coming in at the dodge spot, this Australian teaches us that sometimes it's just better to let them fight it out and we will reap the spoils of war. West Road 350Z sets himself up nice and wide over to the right as we come into that final left hand corner. As the other two squabble on the inside, that allows him to get a better run out of the corner and onto the start finish straight. He must be using that extra brain power from that helmet livery, and he gets a two for one move on the last corner of the race, and that puts him in the dodge spot. This month then, the eagle spot is occupied by a speedy German with the name of Chausse 97. Coming into T1 as someone comes out of the pits, he sees an opportunity to smoothly send it up the inside into turn two and by making it stick into turn three, that has got to be one of the smoothest overtakes we have seen in this competition so far. He does a fantastic job of judging the speed differences between his car and the car emerging from the pits, making sure he brakes at the right time, giving the Russian no chance to turn in and hit that apex. 
he secures himself into this month's top 10, the Ferrari spot. This month's Ferrari spot is taken by Jev Carnival. He tries to go up the inside into turn three, but decides against it and works on a better line to get onto the back straight. With the better exit and that vantage power, he's able to get alongside and get a nose past the Brazilian on the inside. Making the move stick then, and just controlling the slightest bit of slide, sees him up to first place and into that Ferrari spot. Taking another look at it then, we see he gets that nice run out, gets very close to the back of the Lamborghini, but pulls to the right-hand side for that drag race down the straight. Has to then make sure he hits his braking marker as he is on that narrower line. And a move that started two corners ago is completed by turn number four. And he's up into the lead. Coming in at the Ginetta clip, another entry for Jeb Rob in the Audi TT around Brands Hatch shows us that being brave often pays off. A wider entry and a straighter run out sees the TT pull to the left hand side and using that straight line speed advantage to get a nose past and into the final corner, going around the outside and managing to keep it out of the gravel pit on the left hand side there. The TT pulls away and Rob is firmly into that first place position. It all started here then by making the decision not to go on the outside around into Sheen's corner and settling in for that wider run through the penultimate corner. Here is where the bravery comes in as being on the outside in any daily race in Gran Turismo is a very scary place to be, especially the final corner of Brands Hatch. But he makes it stick and he gets the Ginetta spot. Filling in the Hummer spot, Quinton goes for an absolutely perfect move into turn one at Autopolis, making sure everything is perfect. He sweetly goes around the outside and takes second spot from the Spaniard in the pug. Once again, any move around the outside is worthy of applause, but this is so perfect, getting so close to the back of the Spanish driver and then balancing the throttle perfectly to get the greatest run out of the corner that he could ever have wanted. Coming in at the infinity spot, no quality challenge in the Lexus up against the Lamborghini, completes an audacious overtake that spans a couple of corners, controlling a slide into the first part and then going around the outside, maintaining control with a little bit of contact from the Japanese driver. He cements himself on the apex of that corner and with a good run out, sees him up to third place. Benefiting from how defensive the Lamborghini went into that corner, the Australian driver gets that cutback and manages to go around the outside with that increased momentum from the previous corner. Then breaking at the correct time to hit the apex into that hairpin right, and with that perfect overtake, sees him in the top 10. Finally, in the Jaguar spot, Dan 09 Anna 05 makes a good solid move around the outside of the Porsche driver in fifth position. That nice run from turn one sees him up the outside and bravery is shown once again in these overtakes as he manages to stick it on the outside through that fast left-hander. Looking at it from the other view then, you see the amount of time that he gains on the brakes coming into turn one. The perfect braking and the fact that the Porsche driver made a mistake sees him right in the contention for that overtaking maneuver. And as he completes it perfectly, how could this overtake not make it into the top 10 for September? With that last one there then, that rounds out your top 10 overtakes for September's edition of the world's best overtakes. Remember to leave your vote in the top right hand corner of your screen by clicking on the card and then on your favorite overtake. If you do have an overtake that you think is worthy of making it into the next month's edition, then share your replay on PlayStation with the hashtag WBO. 
And once again, the winner will be announced over on Twitter and in Discord. The links are in the description of the video. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Thank you to the channel members for doing what you do. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.